Hello everybody, this is Wednesday from Phantom on a Budget, once again coming to you on YouTube for more Phantom on a Budget costume nonsense. Yes! Uh, it's Halloween season here, and as you can see, I'm all done up and ready to go out and, and confuse people. So I thought while I was, of course, in costume, I would talk about costumes because it's fun. So, and even though all this information is on the website, I still managed to get a few emails from you guys uh, with specific questions, so I'll try to answer a few right now. Um, and I'll try to deal specifically with uh, recreating the Angela Weber stage production costume, which is what I have, which is what's on the site. And if you go on the site, I have plenty of resources for, uh, you know, if you want to change it up and do your own interpretation and your own design, or maybe follow a, a different version of the story. You can get a lot of good, um, good information from the website starting points and, and direction of where to go. So check out the website phantomonabudget.com. Start there and uh, let's go. Stage, stage costume nonsense. Uh, first of all, sources. Where do I get my costumes? I get my costumes uh, from a few different places. I don't sew. I can't sew. Needle and thread means pain and misery. So, I don't sew. I have to find them elsewhere. Uh, I do a lot of stuff on eBay, actually. And if you go on eBay into the vintage clothing section, uh, into the men's um, pre-1930 section, it's, it's great. You can find a lot of antique pieces there. Uh, problem is they vary a lot in condition, and they vary in price. So they might be really expensive and great condition, or cheap and bad condition, or if you're, you know, you're me and you got lucky, you can find some really wonderful old pieces for uh, very little money, and that's the way to go if you can uh, sort of ride the wave of eBay and its ups and downs and and catch it at the right time. Um, definitely a very good way to go, but you have to get a little bit lucky for it to work. Next place you want to look is the thrift store. So your Salvation Army, your Goodwill, your local thrift store uh, hangout. Check it out. You can always find a really good piece every now and then. Um, it's going to play one way or another into your costume. So uh, don't forget about those. Very important. Again, not a whole lot of money. You might get lucky and find a whole tail suit in there. Or not. Or maybe just a, a dinner jacket or who knows. And uh, Especially if it's local, it's a good way to go, and it, they very rarely ever cost a whole lot of money. So start with the thrift store, branch out. Um, another good place to look, and one that we tend to forget maybe, is the wholesa uh, wholesale discount tuxedo website. And one that I actually just came across about two months ago is tuxedowholesaleoutlet.com. I think they're based out of Arizona, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, they deal with used tuxedo coats and, and tuxedo pieces and pants and vests and, you know, those ridiculous cummerbund things. I don't know. Everything for a very low price because it's used. And again, going back to eBay, they have a whole lot of uh, used wedding apparel, which is also very cheap. And um, I'll show you in a minute my other tailcoat is actually used rental. And for $15, believe me, it was well worth it. So, uh, there you go. A couple more ideas. Uh, another idea is to make your own. If you're talented, unlike me, and you can get a pattern and some fabric and go to town. Or, and uh, if you can, then I admire you, because I can't do it. And finally, if you want a phantom costume of any varying accuracy, uh, another idea is to commission hire somebody to make it for you. And this can be uh, expensive depending who you go to. If you go to a professional, pre be prepared to spend some money. If you have a friend down the street that can sew, or a friend's mother, or father, or who knows, and you get lucky that way, go on with it because uh, it can be a little bit pricey, but if you really want something accurate or very specific to your needs and you can't find it anywhere else, that's probably your best bet. Okay, so getting into my costumes for Phantom on Budget, I thought I'd start here with Cape, which is right behind me. I had this one commissioned by Fantasyland Costumes out of California. 
And uh, I think they did a very nice job. They did it last year for me, starts a year old. Right about now, actually, for Halloween last year. And it's based on a real stage cape, so it's very heavy, like the real stage capes, and I've, I've handled a couple, so uh, I'm telling the truth there. <laughs> it's a uh, line of satin. It's a uh, matte wool finish. And these, uh, for people who are wondering, these are beaded appliques. And you can find these online, just, you know, do a Google search for beaded appliques. And uh, you should get a few sites. And basically, I mean, this is not all individual beading and sequin handwork that we thought initially when I was, you know, much younger. And I'm like, oh my god, it's so shiny. They must obviously put each bead on by hand. Uh, each section is its own individual uh, piece. So they just sew that on, and it, it looks very impressive. And I love it. It's big and it's billowy and impressive. And who knows? But uh, that, not cheap. If you really want to know how much it costs, give me an email and I'll, I'll tell you. But I mean, it doesn't break the bank if you have some money in the bank to begin with, which, you know, for me right now is kind of a problem. But at the time when I bought it, it was fine. So uh, that's the cape.